So, am I understanding that the recliners are a deal breaker for you? You have to have recliners. Yeah, you, I think you gotta have a recliner in the house. At least one. Okay, so an ottoman, ottoman and a wing back is not, because you need to lean back, right? Right, I mean, you, you gotta like lean back okay. on so, sat Saturday morning when you're relaxing. So the problem is, is like, it's very hard to find good looking recliners that are comfortable. Let's see what we can do. Okay. <laughs> Hello my dears, this is Sarah from SheHoldsDearly.com and today I want to show you how to save your marriage with two cans of shoe polish. Okay, that might be a little over exaggeration, but let me tell you how many times women say this is a huge area of contention with their husbands. They want a recliner. It is one of the top four things that I hear that men are digging their heels in about when it comes to decorating. So we're gonna tackle one of them that's happening in my house right now. As you saw, my husband is insisting on a recliner and it has been an ongoing conversation for years. I've tried to slip cover recliners. They fall apart sooner than I want them to. I don't like recliners out there. So I'm gonna share with you a few that I think are really actually good looking for recliners and then show you the process of how we bought some lower end recliners and made them look high end. So these are the inspiration pieces that I pulled up. They are all similar in that they have that aged cognac look to them. I love tufting, I love brass nail heads, I love casters, all of those things work for me. But the first ones I found were gonna cost $2,000 each. And so I started exploring ideas of how I could recreate this look. So there's two things I really want you to learn today from this video. Number one, if color is the only thing wrong with your piece of furniture, or actually basically anything in your house, if color is the only thing that's wrong, we can fix the colors. Don't worry about that. There's so many amazing products and techniques out there. We can change just about any material. If the shape is right and you just need to change the color, you're okay. The other thing I want you to take from this video is that to be a good decorator, you have to be a button pusher. Meaning that you have to try some of your ideas even though you don't know how it's gonna turn out, even though you might actually even ruin something. <laughs> that is how you learn and most of the time I succeed with my ideas. So. I'm get, I continue to get more and more confident it, that my ideas actually are good ones. I ended up finding a set on Overstock and I actually ordered four of them because I thought they were individually priced and I waited for a long time to get a sale and bought them over Memorial Day weekend. Anyway, so I thought that I was getting two chairs and then four chairs arrived in these huge boxes, so I had to return two of them. But just so you know, they come in sets of two, so that's good news. So we pulled them out, they come in these big boxes, but you, you pull them out, take everything apart, assemble them. And I did like the size, I liked the shape, I liked the quality. They're made by Christopher Knight, so I've used some of his products before, some of his furniture before. Christopher Knight. Fun fact, was Peter on the Brady Bunch. And now he designs furniture.
Drawing from my inspiration picture, I went over to Amazon and ordered every color of brown to black that they had of shoe polish. I'm gonna link the two that I think you need to buy, and I'm not kidding, you only need two jars of this product. There's about $6 each, and it will cover two chairs. So that is so awesome. I'm using the Bordeaux, and then a little bit of black. And here's the process. You want to take a toothbrush, and dab it in and you're going to you just want to increase the depth of every curve and everything about the chair you want to just make it come alive and become more 3d feeling so you're going to add this shoe polish to all of the crevices and you're going to really brush it in work it in you're making it like a vignette you know like on a picture how the edges of it are are altered a little bit that's what you're gonna do so once you've worked the Bordeaux in with the brush then come back with two fingers blend it in blend it in and then the third step is to take a cloth and just really blend in those outer edges to work it spread it r extra thin so that it works into the original color then come back with black same thing take the toothbrush and just darken up anything that you want to look more shadowy and that's it and just work your way around every section of the chair. So if it's just a rectangle piece, I just do the darkening all around the outside shape. If it's the, you know, the curve of the arm, like this part I cut, I darkened, and this part I darkened, and I left this top of it lighter. Okay, so totally easy, that is beginner level. Number two, the nail heads were silver. I know it's a small thing, but I really believe in the details. So, I took some antique gold rub and buff with the teeniest, tiniest little brush and just touched up every little nail head. Again, beginner level skills here. Number three, I thought I didn't like the color of the legs. The legs were black and they were just a little bit too perfect, a little bit too manufactured looking. And so I thought I would strip them all with citrus strip, which I did and they looked very purple slash yellow. The wood was very yellow, and the stain left a very purple residue on it, and I hated them. I thought it was gonna look like raw wood. It did not. Then I tried to paint them to look like raw wood, and that was a disaster. I was up till midnight last night, waiting for paint to dry and redoing things. So in the end, you know what I did? I painted them black. Yes, that's me being a button pusher, and my husband called me today and said, I see you went, pulled a, a 360 on the color of the legs. After all that, I went back to black. I used the oil rubbed bronze and there you go. I didn't need to do anything. I'm passing that on to you. As I was discovering this, I thought, you know what? This is my gift to my viewers. They will not have to make this mistake. They'll just take the legs for what they are. So you're welcome. Number four. I really wanted casters, so I bought these ones off Etsy, little wooden casters, and my husband carefully measured the post of the casters, which is about two and one eighth inches. Now this, I'm gonna say, is advanced. This freaked me out a little bit, cutting these. So if you are not skilled at woodworking and your person that's going to be cutting this is not skilled, I wouldn't do this. <laughs> Get someone who knows what they're doing. My husband had to make a little brace with some scraps of wood and then he he cushioned the leg with some styrofoam and then sliced it and we were just kind of stressed. Um, it worked, <sighs> but I was so afraid to tell you this and then have you ruin your chairs or something. So anyways, then we drilled the hole, put the little casing in, and pop the casters in and they look fantastic. I love them. These chairs, the only thing that I would say that I don't like about them, and it's really not even a real complaint, they're they're heavy, they're heavier than our other ones. So if, you, if we were to try to put them in the living room to watch a movie or something, I feel like they will be too heavy. But with the casters, I just lift up the back and scoot them in. So it's gonna take care of itself.
All right, and there you have it. I love how they turned out. I'm so excited to pull this off and have both of us be happy. So I hope that this solves a problem in your house if you're having the recliner discussion these days. Grab a set off Overstock, give them a couple touch-ups and plop them in your room. I think they're gonna be perfect. I can't believe I'm saying that. All right, if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button so I can send you more videos on how to make interior design easy. Take care, I'll talk to you soon.